We're now here in Alice Springs for the next seven, eight, nine days. And we're gonna be touring around to see what we can see. Where is Alice Springs, Cooper? Well, Dad, it's actually on the traditional country of the Aranda Nation here in Central Australia. Okay, well, at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what our stay in Alice Springs was like. Okay, let's get into this video. got into Alice Springs here in the Northern Territory. I think we should take a look around to see what this town has. Craig. Yes. <laughs> Did you know that originally it was called Stewart Township when it was first formed in 1888? No, I didn't know that. It's true. So where did uh, Alice Springs get its name from? I don't know. I've heard you can find out more at Telegraph Station. Let's go. Okay. This is it. We found it. Here's Alice Spring. So W.W. Mills, he was the surveyor who passed by this point in 1871, found this watering hole. He named it after Charles Todd's wife, Alice. Charles Todd, who was the superintendent of telegraph at the time, this is the area where they decided to build a telegraph station. But when they built the town here, they decided to call it the Township of Stewart. That name was issued in 1888. This telegraph line from Adelaide all the way up to Darwin is 3,178 kilometers long. It was designed and built in only two years. That has now been recognized as one of the most significant engineering feats in the 19th century here in Australia. Once completed in 1872, they hooked it up to an underwater line in Darwin and then they received the first telegraph from Europe to Australia. This telegraph station operated all the way until 1932 when the post office came. And at that time, there was a lot of confusion around here. The telegraph station by Alice Spring and the township of Stewart. So by 1933, it was proclaimed that this area is the town of Alice Springs. Cooper wants to show us the Reptile Center here at Alice Springs, so let's go in. The next place we're going to visit here in Alice Springs is the Royal Flying Doctor Service. John Flynn, who's on the back of the $20 bill, he's featured in here, so let's go take a look. Uh, it's right past the plane. Here, let's go take a look inside and see what it's like. What is this we're heading into, Lucinda? Cooper? Much of it. We've now left Alice Springs for a couple of days and we're gonna do some hiking. 
I'm going to show you some highlights of the places we get to. Right now, we're at Simpsons Gap. The next hike we're on is Stanley Chasm. Next stop, Glen Helen Gorge. Definitely different than the way we came yeah, yeah, yeah. You should just build coming for a trip there, buddy. Oh, that's a good idea. You should go back and just... Oh! <laughs> Great minds think alike, Craig. Whoa! Wow. Started off day two at Mount Saunders for sunrise. And now we're going to Ormiston Gorge, and we're going to take the Ghost Gum Trail. Hold on to your hat! Three. Today we're heading west. We're going to go to the westernmost point that we're going to get to on our tour of Australia in 2023. Hey, look on the left there. Is that Uluru already? No, Dad. That's Fuluru. <laughs> that's actually Attila, Mount Connor. <laughs> and it gets everybody. I thought it was Uluru. I guess we got a ways to go yet. We're now here at the Cultural Center, but unfortunately there's no photos or filming allowed. Now my memory is pretty good, but it's pretty darn short. <laughs> so without pictures or filming allowed in here, uh, my memory's not gonna be able to do any justice for the story. Now the indigenous history is pretty rich around here and it's interesting. But if you're gonna wanna know about it, you'll have to come here yourself. Hiking day today. Today, we're gonna go around Uluru. Let's see how many steps that takes. That one there looks like a picture to you, Cooper, of anything. There, we just finished our walk around Uluru. So how, how far was it? Let's take a look at the pedometer here. I got a picture. Oh, it's 15,375 steps at 10.2 kilometers. How long did it take? It took us about three hours. Yeah, it was good. We went early in the morning before all the flies got here, which are now Just here. Just in time, because the flies are now here. <laughs> okay, 15, let's go. 15,000 flies, too. Ascenda. <laughs> This area of the Valley of the Wind. Well, let's get going. At least there's less flies. Well, we're here on our second hike of the day to Catachuda. It's quite a hike to the top. Look at the view. There, look at the view. <laughs> wants me to show the view the other way. Here it is. Hello, 
So in the past nine days, we actually stayed in Alice Springs for about five of them. One of them was the tropical storm Lisa. So we had a rain day. Now in the previous three, four or five weeks before we got to Alice Springs, we had a lot of people warn us, oh, you gotta be careful about going to Alice. Well, as you've seen in the video, we saw some really interesting tourist attractions here. You know, we went out during the daytime quite a bit. We went out to the evening sometimes, like to the taverns but we didn't see any problems here. It was a very pleasant stay. I'm really glad we came here. And if you're ever here in Alice Springs on Monday nights, you gotta come to this place behind me, Uncle's Tavern. They got the best ribs from rib night. <laughs> so would I come to Alice again? For sure, I wouldn't hesitate doing it.